match like no other. Well, the bell may be 100 years old, but she sure does look good, doesn't she? This is a live look above the Centennial Festival of Riverboats from the WLKY News Chopper. As the party gets started on the waterfront, the bell will be racing a boat from Peoria today. It's day three of the festival, and we have a front row seat for you for all the action. In fact, WLKY's Karen Roby joins us now live from the grand celebration. Hey, Karen. Hey, Rick, good to see you. You know, who wouldn't want a six day birthday party? This is really great for the Belle of Louisville, great for everyone here in our city and from others to come share in the rich history 100 years for the Belle of Louisville. She's got quite a past, to say the very least. There's a lot going on down here. Every morning they've been started at 11 o'clock. There's music, food, bourbon, all kinds of great stuff. There's a little bit of something for everyone. And we're seeing uh, more folks come in here now. Other than bringing the jacket, that's definitely something that you want to bring with you if you're heading down. But a neat event to bring the kids to. Uh, you can take a cruise on some of the ships here if you buy some tickets in advance or even here uh, on the grounds. And there's also some of the boats that you can just walk through and learn a little bit more about their history, how they are, are still, uh, how they're still going. Now, the Belle of Louisville, after 100 years, as I mentioned, the steamers are pretty impressive. We got an up close look at those. Here's a closer look at the Belle's rich history. I feel very proud to be the chief on its 100th birthday. Jim McCoy is the man in charge of the Belle of Louisville's inner workings. You won't see him too often up top of the vessel. He spends most of his time below in the belly of this Mississippi style steamboat. There's always something going on. Uh, every day there's something we, uh, uh, to keep this thing going in the shape that we want it to, to operate at. McCoy says there are many, many reasons why the Belle of Louisville is such a unique gem. From its age and condition to the history of its parts. The value in steamboats, he says, has always been in the equipment on board, most specifically the steamers. James Reese and son probably built these engines between 1875 and 1895. We know they were on a boat that did sink in the 1890s and uh, they were salvaged. Just a few minutes down in the Bell's Hole will take you back to yesteryear. He's getting his command from the pilot house. The indicator in the wheelhouse, the, cat, the pilot will slow ahead, half a stern, whatever he calls for will be indicated with the arrow and a bell. You'll hear a bell, an enunciator, and then the person operating will answer the bell here at the throttle. Uh, speed up, slow down with a throttling valve, just like the faucet in your, in your tub. She was built in Pittsburgh and given the name Idlewild. Originally made to transport people and cattle in Memphis, ownership of the vessel changed hands several times. Captain Mark Doty says tender love and care along the way has kept her in such good shape. He believes a grand birthday celebration is definitely warranted as a nod to her beauty, rich history, and loving caretakers. Something that no boat of her nature has ever reached and probably will never ever reach again. And indeed, we are lucky to have the Belle of Louisville here on our riverbanks. And they want you to come down and see for yourself what makes her so special. Tonight, she'll be taking on the spirit of Peoria. Of course, the Belle, uh, for years and years and years, has been racing up and down the Ohio. Uh, some impressive wins, no doubt, through the years, especially uh, teamed up with the Derby Festival. So we want you to head to our website at WLKY.com. There's a tab there that lists all the events uh, for tonight and going through Sunday. Again, this is just day three of this six day birthday bash. So lots of fun to be had out here, Rick. And again, if you're coming down, bringing the kids down, we may want to bring just a, a jacket with you because it is a, a little bit chilly out here. But no doubt uh, that will have any effect on the fun out here at the waterfront. For now, we're live on the waterfront. Karen Roby, WLKY News. Good advice. Thanks so much, Karen. And the bell is going to take on and take down the spirit of Peoria tonight. Karen and Matt Milosevic will be with you tonight and tomorrow night for our live special. Those are at 7 o'clock. You'll want to check those out. You can see them on MeTV. And then Saturday night, join me, Vicki, Jay, John Belsky will be out there as well as we have a 90-minute program at 8 o'clock right here on WLKY. WLKY, we can't stress this enough. We are so proud to sponsor this festival.